And now, meteorologist Michelle Podell and storm teammate weather. Well, welcome back. I hope you had a great Saturday. We saw plenty of sun today, but hopefully you found a way to stay warm because it sure was chilly. Check out our numbers today. It was a cold start to the morning. Morning low, 8 degrees below zero. And with that morning low, a little bit of sun, we were only able to warm up to 14 degrees. That is well below our average of 31. And right now, we're sitting at 3 in La Crosse. We do have clear skies across the region, clouds are slowly moving in. Winds are out of the southeast at seven miles an hour and the river is just over five and a half feet and it's holding steady. Now temperatures currently mainly in the single digits on either side of zero. Black River Falls though you're at 10 below, 5 above right now in Winona, 6 below in Eau Claire, and 4 above in Viroqua. Now, the winds were very light earlier today. They are starting to pick up a little bit at about 5 to 10 miles an hour out of the southeast. So if you're still heading out and about tonight, do keep in mind that wind chills are mainly in the single digits below zero. So we had a lot of sun today. We had clear skies, and we do have mainly clear skies now, but clouds are gradually moving in from the west and that's all ahead of a storm system that is going to bring us some snow as we head into the day for your Sunday. So let's take a look at the forecast model. Most of tonight will be dry. We will just see those clouds continue to thicken, continue to increase, but by tomorrow morning some light snow moving in from west to east and this light snow going to continue on and off through the day tomorrow into the afternoon and evening. Even still a chance of a couple snow showers as we head into tomorrow night and possibly even in into the morning, a Monday morning commute, though I do think most of us will remain dry most of Monday, just that small chance of snow for the morning hours. Now, in terms of snowfall totals, most of the News 8 viewing area will see about one to four inches of snow. However, if you are in southeastern Minnesota, northeastern Iowa, and far southwestern Wisconsin, you could see two to five. This is going to be that light, fluffy snow. And in that area that you could see two to five inches, we do have a winter weather advisory in effect. That does include Fillmore, Houston, Alamakee, Winnesheek, and Crawford counties through the day tomorrow. You could also see some areas of blowing snow, so keep that in mind for your Sunday. Clouds continue to increase for tonight. Light snow moving in later. Late, mainly toward tomorrow morning, three degrees for the low. For your Sunday, for your Valentine's Day, light snow on and off through the day. Highs right around 20. Again, most spots seeing one to four, but a little bit more, a couple more inches if you're in south, uh, the southwestern parts of our viewing area. And still a chance of snow showers tomorrow night, 16 for the low. Now Monday, just a small chance of snow as we head into the first part of the day. But look at how that temperature jumps back to near 30 degrees. We'll be in the low 30s by Tuesday with a slight chance of snow cooling down briefly on Wednesday. But then look at what happens to our temperatures starting Thursday into the end of the week and into the weekend. Upper 30s on Thursday, low 40s is what we are looking at for this coming Friday. And right now, it looks like those temperatures going to remain in the mid to upper 30s. What a warm up, especially after the past couple of weeks where it has been very cold. I think a lot of people are welcoming that, but snow on the way for your Sunday. Yeah, so we just got to get through a couple more days. Yes. I think we can do it. We can do it. All right. Thanks, Michelle. <laughs> Still ahead on News 8.